Ever imagine the world running on non-combustible batteries with long shelf life, low cost of production, higher performance, running better with cars and electrical components, and with assured safety? Good news, because that has been made possible, and it's prevalent and already making rounds in research institutes around the world. Having battery problems on our smartphones, iPads, or laptops can be aggravating. Despite the fact that batteries are pervasive in everyday life, many experience breakdowns and failures. The trivial matter of having to charge them more frequently could result in costly repairs or the purchase of an entirely new device. And batteries in a relatively large electronic devices, such as hoverboards or automobiles, can even catch fire. With an increased emphasis on aerospace sustainability, there's still growing interest in using batteries to partially or fully power electric propulsion systems on aircrafts of all sizes. So, is there a better way to build batteries that are completely safe and won't fail or even burst into flames? NASA's ongoing research has resulted in the development of the Solid State Battery, a product that does not contain manganese, cobalt, or nickel, and has twice the energy while weighing less. So, how effective is this new battery, and what does it mean for energy and electric vehicle companies? Intriguing, right? Before we get started, make sure you like this video and subscribe to the channel. It's free, and you'd be helping out our channel a ton. Thanks. What is a solid-state battery? In contrast to the liquid or polymer gel electrolytes found in lithium-ion or lithium-polymer batteries, solid-state batteries use solid electrodes and an electrolyte. Although solid electrolytes were first identified in the 19th century, a number of issues have prevented their widespread use. Starting in the 2010s, innovations in the late 20th and early 21st centuries have rekindled interest in solid-state battery technology, particularly in the context of electric vehicles. Numerous issues with liquid lithium-ion batteries, including their flammability, low voltage, unstable solid electrolyte interface formation, poor cycling performance, and weak strength, may have potential solutions in solid-state batteries. This leads to even bigger questions like, how do these batteries work? Why are they better than lithium batteries? And what risk-benefit do they pose to the electric vehicle industry and energy companies? All these we will delve into soon. A NASA project called SABERS, or Solid State Architecture Battery for Enhanced Rechargeability and Safety, is looking into how to make a battery that is safer by utilizing novel building techniques and brand new materials. A battery with a lot more energy than the lithium-ion batteries we currently use is what they're trying to make. Additionally, if something went wrong, this battery wouldn't catch fire, lose capacity over time, or endanger the safety of the passengers. Rocco Vigiano, lead Sabre's researcher at NASA's Glenn Research Center in Cleveland, said, Instead of buying a battery off the shelf, we decided we needed to develop a battery from scratch that would be tailored to the unique performance requirements of an electric aircraft. Low discharge rates are typical of solid-state batteries. In other words, too little power is being discharged from the battery at once. However, Sabre's researchers have nearly doubled this discharge rate, indicating that solid-state batteries may be able to handle the power of more powerful electronics. Our objective was surpassed. We can raise that rate even higher with more development, according to Vigiano. Uber and a number of other businesses interested in producing vehicles for upcoming advanced air mobility environments have taken note of the project's objectives and achievements. The battery design will be put to test as the next step for Sabres. This will entail gathering performance data, ensuring its safety, and testing it in real-world settings. The ability of batteries to store the enormous amounts of energy needed to power an aircraft, while remaining as light as possible, is essential for the development of more environmentally friendly electric aircraft. However, the amount of energy a battery can store is only one factor. A battery that can be used in aviation must also be able to release the energy it has been holding onto quickly enough to power an electric aircraft or unmanned aerial vehicle. Sabres have been experimenting with cutting-edge new substances that have never before been used in batteries, like sulfur and selenium which has resulted in notable advancements in power discharge. The team successfully increased their battery's discharge rate over the course of the last year by a factor of 10, and then further by a factor of 5. Additional design modifications resulted from those new materials. The Sabres team understood that solid-state architecture enabled them to modify the design and packaging of their battery, 
in order to reduce weight and boost its energy storage capacity. To put it differently, a bigger bucket. In contrast to conventional lithium-ion batteries, which house each individual battery cell inside its own steel casing, Sabre's battery allows all of the cells to be stacked vertically inside a single casing. Researchers at Sabres found that their battery can operate in conditions nearly twice as hot as lithium-ion batteries, without the use of any additional cooling technology, after testing it under various pressures and temperatures. The group is still testing it in hotter conditions. It's not surprising that government, business, and academia have expressed a great deal of interest in this research. This year, Sabre's main goal was to demonstrate that the properties of its solid-state battery meet its energy and safety targets, while also demonstrating that it can operate safely under realistic conditions and at maximum power. Its Georgia Tech research partners helped to pioneer various methodologies that can improve solid-state batteries and make them more practical for use in aviation applications. In short, solid-state batteries are safer, have more capacity, and can be used in thinner devices. Unfortunately, they are currently prohibitively expensive to incorporate into medium-sized smartphone cells, but this may change in the coming years. So if you've ever wondered what a solid-state battery is and how it differs from today's lithium-ion cells, keep watching. The primary distinction between a lithium-ion battery and a solid-state battery is that the former uses a liquid electrolytic solution to regulate current flow, whereas solid-state batteries use a solid electrolyte. The electrolyte in a battery is a conductive chemical mixture that allows current to flow between the anode and the cathode. Solid-state batteries continue to function in the same manner as conventional batteries, but the change in materials alters some of the battery's characteristics such as maximum storage capacity, charging times, size, and safety. The obvious advantage of switching from a liquid to a solid electrolyte is that the battery's energy density can be increased. This is due to the fact that, rather than requiring significant separators between the liquid cells, solid-state batteries only require very thin barriers to prevent a short circuit. Conventional liquid-soaked battery separators have a thickness of 20 to 30 microns. Solid-state technology can reduce separators to 3 to 4 microns each, saving roughly 7-fold space simply by switching materials. However, separators aren't the only component inside the battery, and other bits can't shrink down as much, limiting the space-saving prospect of solid-state batteries. The use of a solid-state electrolyte allows the combination of better-performing materials, such as lithium metal and high-voltage cathode materials. Nonetheless, early-generation solid-state batteries have been observed to contain comparable types of energetic electrode products, with the fluid electrolyte replaced by a solid-state electrolyte. In this case, solid-state batteries outperform liquid-based lithium-ion batteries in terms of power density. For higher energy densities, safety, and quicker recharge times, solid lithium metal anodes in solid-state batteries are replacement candidates in lithium-ion batteries. These anodes frequently experience problems with the development and expansion of lithium dendrites. Short circuits are brought on by the dendrites that pierce the cathode anode separator. Due to overheating caused by this, there may be fires or explosions as a result of thermal runaways. Columbic efficiency is reduced by lithium dendrites. When electrode deposition occurs during charge and discharge, dendrites frequently form. As the battery charges, lithium ions combine with electrons at the anode surface to form a layer of lithium metal. On the anode, the ideal lithium deposition takes place uniformly. LIXCY, Li2O, and LIXCYOZ were identified as the constituents of Li dendrites. Another point is that the interfacial instability of the electrode electrite has always been a serious issue in solid state batteries. After solid-state electrolyte contacts with the electrode, the chemical and or electrochemical side reactions at the interface typically produce a passivated interface, which impedes the diffusion of positive Li across the electrode SSE. Some SSEs may experience oxidative degradation when subjected to high-voltage cycling. Due to its high energy capacity, a pure lithium metal anode is the ideal material for a solid-state battery. However, at about 5M per discharge capacity per unit area of plated lithium, lithium experiences a significant volumetric increase during charge. Because of the creep of the lithium metal over time into surface cracks at the anode-electrolyte interface, 
This expansion raises cell pressure, which can short the cell as a result, with a relatively low activation energy for self-diffusion of 50 kJ per mole and a low melting point of 553 Kelvin, lithium metal has a high propensity to creep significantly at room temperature. It has been demonstrated that lithium experiences power law creep at room temperature, where the temperature is high enough compared to the melting point for the metal's dislocations to climb out of its glide plane and avoid obstacles. Clearly, a lot of research is still being done on solid-state battery technology. The earliest predictions indicate that it will be another four or five years before mature cells are found in consumer goods like smartphones. However, solid-state batteries may start to appear in other gadgets like drones as early as next year. Nevertheless, the most recent research is now delivering outcomes that, while also offering the advantages of solid-state electrolytes, can compete with current lithium-ion batteries in terms of attributes. The only thing left to do for the manufacturing process is to advance, and there are numerous established and up-and-coming battery producers who have the financial means to make this a reality. Solid-state batteries guarantee 2 to 10 times the power thickness of lithium-ion batteries of the same size, due to the solid and robust electrolyte having a less significant impact. That entails more compact battery packs without compromising power or more powerful batteries without taking up more space. That points to more efficient and long-range EVs or even more compact and lightweight EVs. They are also anticipated to charge more quickly. Modern solid-state technology can benefit a number of obvious things. In the United States and other industrialized countries, almost every adult, and seemingly every child, now owns a mobile phone. Imagine a battery that keeps your phone going for days without requiring a recharging after a busy morning, all without increasing the size. The electric vehicle segment of the automotive industry is one of the most power-hungry item groups that are enthusiastic about this development. With increased range, much better acceleration, and lower prices, electric cars and trucks may become more widely available to consumers. Thank you so much for watching today. We would appreciate it if you could leave a like and gently smash the subscribe button to be among the first to hear about the latest developments in tech and science.